Hey guys, it's Siobhan from 2 Kitty and Beyond. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be about a physical cleanse that I did. It's a detox called the Wild Rose Cleanse. It's a 12 day cleanse. Um, and if you'd like to see how that went for me and how it could potentially work for you, then just keep watching. Hey guys, it's Siobhan with 2 Kitty and Beyond. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about the Wild Rose Herbal Detox that I am currently on. So I'm doing a cleanse right now. This is a 12 day cleanse by Dr. Terry Willard. It does come with a diet plan as well. So it doesn't give you recipes per se, but it does give you a list of recommended foods uh, that you should stick to um, over the course of the 12 days. And then there's also a list of foods to avoid in general. So there's lots of information in the book that it comes with everything that you can have that you can't have um, or rather that you should avoid and basically from there all you do is you take two of each of the pills and two pumps of the herbal extract with breakfast and dinner I find that these are really easy to take, but then again, I'm really good at taking pills. I've been taking like handfuls of vitamins and all sorts of supplements for years now. So I can take, you know, six of these at a time in one go. And then the, um, the herbal extract is not very good tasting. <laughs> Let me put it this way. It basically tastes like a shot of whiskey with a bunch of different herbs that are very potent so it's not the best I don't really like it but I mean it's good for you so I'd rather be having shots of that than shots of alcohol so the detox um, is going pretty well so far I've been on it for a few days about three days um, and some of the side effects are that you can have like these purging symptoms so physical purging symptoms of toxins um, either through because I mean you've got a laxa herb here so it definitely makes you go to the bathroom more than normal but it's really just clearing everything out which is great and um, the diet as well really helps to get things moving there's lots of fiber um, in what's recommended so I've been sticking pretty closely to the recommended foods. So in the cupboard here, we have, okay, so you cannot have peanut butter. I have not been having that, but I have been having the almond butter, which is all natural, and this you are allowed to have. So you can have coffee, but I've been opting out and just having, um, like lemon water or green tea because you are allowed to have that you're not supposed to have black tea because it's fermented so you can't have anything fermented no kimchi no pickles no kombucha um, nothing like that but you can have lots of different things so brown rice is a yes um, almonds and oat bran or oat meal. I've been having like the regular just plain oatmeal and then adding a little bit of unsweetened almond milk which you're allowed to have and um, some for fruit we've got like dried apricots. You're not supposed to have raisins or anything like that but for some reason apricots are okay. Uh, no dates or anything either which I have but I'm not supposed to um, and I haven't eaten them so that's good. And what else? No pasta unless it's like a lentil pasta or a bean pasta or some kind of a, um, a legume pasta. And then you can have sweet potatoes, onions, potatoes, garlic, that kind of thing. And as for the fridge, okay, so no dairy, no condiments, no spicy things, nothing with added sugar um, or even non-sugar. So none of that. <laughs> uh, we can have the unsweetened almond milk like I said but you're not supposed to have any fruit juices um, those are just here because my boyfriend is type 1 diabetic and he has to have something on hand just in case his sugar goes low which happens sometimes um, so we've got lots of veggies that we're allowed to have so pears and um, apples are pretty much the only other fruits that you can do you're not supposed to have any fruits that are non-domestic so like tropical fruits because they're super high in sugar so you can have you know apples oranges pears uh, no bananas though because they're very high in uh, sugar as well so for vegetables we've got tomatoes onions carrots snow peas lots of different kinds of lettuce romaine iceberg mixed greens um, arugula and then we've got berries as well because they're domestic 
um, limes and lemons been using a lot and a whole thing of ginger <laughs> as well as cucumber you can have hummus and tahini which is great you just have to make sure that there's no added sugar or any um, like additional ingredients you want to keep it pretty simple so you know like chickpeas yeah olive oil canola oil is okay you just can't have peanut oil um, and then the, these aren't actually yogurt. I just use these for containers. So we've got beets in here and quinoa. And you are allowed to use um, butter, but I don't actually use butter. I only use margarine. So I've been kind of just avoiding it if I can because I'm not 100% sure if you're allowed to have that. And then we've got like potatoes and salmon back there as well as tuna for protein um, for my boyfriend. So this is breakfast. I'm doing regular plain instant oatmeal. It has no sugar added. Um, adding some blueberries on top. I'm going to also add some almond milk and I will take all of the recommended detox pills first before I eat and then I usually finish it off with the CL herbal extract simply because if I take it before it kind of puts me off of eating because it tastes so bad so I wait until after I've eaten to take that although I think you're supposed to take it um, all before or you're supposed to technically take uh, a few bites of food and then take your your supplements and then keep eating but I just I can't do that because I find that it puts me off of eating so I do the pills first extract after and I'll have my um, breakfast so I've just boiled some water in the kettle I'm gonna go ahead and make this up so lunch I have some baked sweet potato fries with a little bit of avocado oil and herb amir for seasoning some baby carrots, snow peas, and half an avocado for some good fats. So for dinner, I made corn on the cob, some boiled potatoes with lemon, oregano, olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper, and an arugula salad with cucumber and boiled beets, a little bit of sunflower seeds, some olive oil, and a little bit more of the lemon, so lots of lemon as a dressing because we're not supposed to have anything fermented or anything dairy so yeah that's dinner so today i'm gonna make some juice for breakfast i'm doing some carrots celery a little bit of peeled ginger and some apples for a hint of sweetness i'm not going for like a sweet juice this morning although the carrots and the apple will help but i just wanted it to be mostly celery as you can see there's quite a bit of celery there and ginger um, although it's only two small pieces that's going to be quite pungent so you don't want to overdo it with ginger as it can be quite spicy so i'm going to have that and then i'm going to have some ginger um, mint tea with some lemon as well so i still have some leftover i'll use these for tomorrow and this will last a long long time because it's huge and we've got our juice there for breakfast yum Today's lunch is a red lentil penne, which has 11 grams of protein. And I just added some olive oil, uh, oregano, salt and pepper, cucumbers, broccoli, and some carrots. Today's breakfast is just some plain oatmeal with a little bit of unsweetened almond milk and blueberries, and some ginger mint tea. And in my house, it's still Halloween until December 1st. <laughs> Tonight I made cashew crusted herb amir tofu with some roasted golden potatoes, corn on the cob, steamed broccoli with lemon and boiled carrots. Hey guys, so yeah, so I stuck to the diet plan. I made sure that I ate only clean food and that anything that was on the not recommended list, I did not have any of it, so no sugar, um, no sweet, no starchy stuff like that um, for the whole 12 days. And first of all, the transformation was insane. Um, I lost weight significantly, um, like fat around my belly, my arms even look smaller, although I'm wearing a big hoodie, you can't tell, but I, I lost like a lot of weight um, that was purely just from eating junk food. So I feel a lot healthier, I was energized. You know, they say that you're gonna have some symptoms throughout, um, other than like the laxative effect, which is a given because you're taking laxatives. I didn't really experience that many symptoms. If anything, I didn't 
I, I wasn't like worse off mentally and physically, I was better. So I didn't go through any of those physical purging stages, which they say that can happen. You know, you can experience flu-like symptoms or like a cold, or you can feel really low energy and fatigued or have brain fog and stuff like that. I didn't have any of that. If anything, I was having that before the cleanse and then the cleanse really helped to balance that out. I was re-energized, I was thinking clearly, I had all this this like physical energy, mental energy. Um, I just felt better emotionally, more stable as well. So um, my anxiety really went down, which was a huge, huge thing for me. Living with constant generalized anxiety has been a real detriment to my life. and. Um, um, changing my diet and then doing this cleanse I was not expecting it to affect it to this degree but I mean here I am and I'm no longer feeling that way anymore so I'm really thankful for that and I think that it has a lot to do with specifically sugar and the, um, the the wheat so I since I've been done the cleanse it's been about a month and a half now and I wanted to wait to make this video instead of doing it right after because I wanted to see if um, I continued following the diet plan with a little bit of tweaks here and there to be a little bit more flexible what my results would be and I have I've kept following the diet plan I've been eating super healthy um, really plant-based I've been trying to cut down on the sugar because I was like the hugest sugar junkie I would eat cake like breakfast lunch and dinner if I could chocolate all the time um, you know and then the rest of the foods I was eating even though I'm vegetarian I was still having like veggie nuggets which are deep fried and full of wheat because um, they're battered um, and like french fries from the bag so it's like those are vegetarian yes but they're not healthy so I switched over and now I'm eating like sweet potato fries made from scratch with avocado oil and like making fresh soups and chia seed pudding and some of the stuff that you guys saw in the video so I'm continuing those habits and it's really made like the biggest difference in the world. It's a complete 180 with my health. And I was going to the doctor and having all of these issues with cholesterol. Like I have high cholesterol, probably not so much anymore. I haven't gone back to check yet, but I have a feeling that when I do, it's gonna be significantly less and much more in the normal zone. Whereas before, even though I was still like a small girl, I had high cholesterol because of the way I was eating. And um, I was having acidity problems. So like constant acid reflux, where it was creating heart palpitations and stomach issues and digestive issues and all of these things and so I reduced my intake of acidic foods but I've what I've come to realize now after doing this cleanse was that it wasn't so much the acidity in like tomatoes and and lemons it was to do with the acidity and the amount of sugar and wheat that I was eating. So cutting out the sugar and cutting out the wheat has completely transformed my body, my mind, my energy. So I'm no longer experiencing those constant, that constant symptom of fatigue and exhaustion. So I'm feeling a lot better. And not only that, but um, I was also uh, diagnosed with anemia uh, or not diagnosed, but I um, had a blood test and it showed that I was anemic and I was experiencing all of those symptoms and stuff too. And there was other some other mineral deficiencies and amino acid deficiencies too. So I haven't been tested for gluten intolerance yet, but I think that's going to be my next step because after cutting out the gluten, I'm feeling a lot better and I feel like I'm intaking nutrients finally. So I have a feeling that um, my intestines were constantly inflamed because I was eating gluten and I wasn't my body was rejecting it and having this this autoimmune response to it so now that my my inner inner being has calmed down I'm not eating those those foods that are triggering it to become inflamed and unbalanced now I'm feeling a lot better I have more energy I feel happier <laughs> as well because your gut is like a brain it has a microbiome that influences how you feel and how you think so if your gut is out of balance you're going to experience things like depression and anxiety and sugar and, and wheat are like a big contributing factor of that even if you're not gluten intolerant specifically um, or celiac disease you may just feel better not eating a lot of wheat based products which is all I was eating I was eating bread for breakfast and then I was having like cereal for lunch and then <laughs> for dinner I was having like fries and and like a burger which is you know like 
the, the bun. So it was just like a whole lot. And then cake, <laughs> cake and little snack cakes and things like that. So lots and lots of wheat. And no wonder my body was like, what are you doing to me? So um, I highly recommend this cleanse or just doing any cleanse at all and cutting out wheat and sugar, um, reducing your intake of these kinds of foods and then see how you feel, right? So it's, it's great because there's really nothing to lose. You just kind of cut it out of your diet and then see how your body responds to it, how your mind responds to it, and then go from there. If it doesn't, if there's no change, then you can go back to eating whatever it is that you were eating before. So it, it there's really nothing to lose. I highly recommend trying it and the cleanse was fantastic. Um, it really gave me the, the boost and the motivation to keep Keep going so you know I felt like oh I put in all this hard work and I was so disciplined for the 12 days and then I got so used to it that it didn't even really feel like it was a strict diet anymore it was just normal why why don't I continue this and then see results long term which is what I'm now seeing so I just wanted to share that with you guys in hopes that it can help you on your path to healing your body your mind and ultimately your soul. <laughs> so I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you'd like to stick around for more content, I don't normally do videos like this. It's normally horoscope readings for every sign for every month, as well as energy updates for the collective ascension of humanity and general spiritual chit chats and Q and A's. So thanks so much for being here. I love you. I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you next time. Bye guys.